In today's video, I'm going to be taking a stab at what I believe to be the best defense in Madden 24 right now. Now, this is based off of just general feedback that we've seen from the community as far as the beta goes. And I do believe that this is probably the best way that you can be playing defense in Madden right now, specifically on Madden 24. This defense is still really good on Madden 23, but I do believe it's really good on Madden 24 because it is very simple to set up. Now we have a full ebook on this defense, um, Madden 23's version, which you can very easily cross apply this into Madden 24. It works almost identical from what I've heard. It is the nickel over. If you wanna get my entire nickel over defensive ebook, join the Patreon for just 10 bucks. It'll get you access to all of my ebooks, including all of the stuff that we're gonna be dropping for Madden 24 over the course of the next couple of weeks as the beta kind of comes to a close. We start to kind of, again, explain different concepts that you can take into Madden 24 to be successful. So what is makes nickel over so good? A lot of it is found in the simplicity of the defense and very closely connected to the effectiveness um, or lack of effectiveness of zone coverage, the effectiveness of man coverage or the lack of effectiveness of zone coverage. One of the things that we've seen and heard um, from a Madden 24 community feedback perspective on Twitter and YouTube, a lot of creators are saying that zone coverage by and large is not really that effective in the Madden 24 beta. So what we can do is basically just utilize man coverage and specifically this overstorm brave blitz that is really good because it's going to get you quick defensive in pressure which is the quickest type of pressure you can get on the quarterback typically and it also is going to give you really good alignment so that you can play really good coverage now i want to show you kind of a pro tip with this as well and that is to put in your audibles the cover four quarters the cover four six or i'm sorry cover four quarters and the cover six and then if you wanted some kind of zone i would recommend the cover three seam and then really that's kind of it you could also put a cover three cloud in here okay so overstorm brave is your base setup i'm going to show you the blitz we're going to show you a coverage look so we're coming on overstorm brave all you're going to do is you're going to hit r1 and you're going to pinch your defense and then you're going to bring this guy down to the box and you're going to stand about right here now, if the running back goes on a route, you've got to go guard the running back. But as you can see, it gets really quick pressure on the opponent. So what the opponent has to do to block this blitz, typically, is they're going to have to max protect. So again, we're going to pinch our defense. If the running back blocks, then we're just going to be able to kind of become a rat in the hole over the middle of the field, and we're still getting that quick pressure. Now, this blitz works better in Madden 24 than Madden 23 because they did actually patch this blitz a little bit in terms of its effectiveness in Madden 20, uh, in Madden 23. So here, if the tight end blocks, but the running back still goes out on a route, we still have to go block the run or guard the running back. But as you can see, we're going to create a lot of confusion on the offensive line by sending so many people consistently. So even if they do block a running back, for example, you still want to run at that, at that uh, running back. Or if they block a tight end, you still want to go guard the running back. If they block a running back, then you're free to pretty much do whatever. Um, what I would recommend is just jumping to the middle. Now, another thing you can do is you can crash your defensive line to the inside if you want to. Sometimes that can help. It disengages up the A-gap, as you can see right there. But in general, that's the basic idea of the blitz. It's a six-man blitz that is designed to get double edge heat. Now, um, snap throwing is not as good in Man 24 from what I've heard. So if you want to stand right here, this is also really good because it's going to get better pressure. And then you can get out. You can still get out to the running back or get wherever you need to get to. Okay. So how do we mix coverage into this? Well, we're going to come on over some brave and we're going to audible to cover four quarters and we're still going to pinch the defense. If you want to show blitz, you certainly can, but just simply pitching the defense. Now what this does is against most trips formations, whether it be trips tight in bunch, U trips, any of those formations, your primary responsibility as this number three inside quarter is going to be to guard the number three receiver if he goes on a vertical route. So the way that we want to do this um, in terms of a coverage setup off of this is we're going to do it basically like this. This is a pretty standard route combination from this formation. We're going to man up the middle linebacker on that number three receiver. So he's going to take him away. And then we're going to bluff blitz the defensive tackle that is on the opposite side of the running back. So in this example, you see we're going to play cover for course, and I'm blitzing my user. And then as you'll see, so now they're going to block because they need to pick up the pressure, which allows me to now be in a coverage look. And you can see how good this match coverage does. 
This is going to be really good in Madden 24 because match coverage doesn't require a lot of adjustments to be good. You just simply call cover four quarters. You pinch your defense. You kind of set it up basically the same. If you want to show blitz, that will give a similar pre-snap alignment. And then if you want to make some adjustments, it would basically be just manning up the linebacker on the tight end, dropping this nose tackle into a bluff, bluff blitz, and then utilizing a blitz on your user so that you get better sheds. And now we're going to be in a really good chance for defending some of the best routes that are able to uh, get open. Now, the way that you would do this to play really good defense against zone defense, even if you wanted to blitz out of zone, is really simple. We're going to audible to cover three seam, and we're still going to do the pinch the line, show blitz, which brings these guys down. Now we're going to blitz both linebackers. So essentially, you have a six-man blitz, and then in this example, um, we're sending six. We have the left side flat. So if the running back goes to the flat, we're going to shoot out and go guard the running back. But other than that, we have pretty much everything bagged over the middle of the field. You can also do the same principle with uh, cover three cloud like this right here. And then all you would do is basically you would take this guy on the left and you would put him in an outside third. And then from there, um, again, really up to you how you want to defend. I really like a simple um, hard flat of that linebacker on the left side and then maybe a bluff blitz over the middle because you can drop some drop those guys into coverage so now you have some extra middle of the field protection and you're playing zone coverage which is great for stopping those crossing routes this is how you can very easily create um max coverage looks now one other way that you can create a max coverage look and this is still really good in Madden 23 is to cloud and this is a little bit more adjustment um sequence so just bear with me but what i would recommend is if you don't like this adjustments just use cover one hole in your audibles as your main coverage. But what you can do with this is you can actually do a little bit more. So we're anticipating they're gonna probably block their running back and they're gonna maybe set up a route combination. So what we wanna do is we're gonna say, okay, short side of the field, um, they're not gonna have a streak or that's gonna be able to clear his own well. So we're gonna do something like this. And then on the right side, we're gonna do the same basic thing, except now we're gonna utilize a third. So we third the wide side, we cloud the short side just like this. And then we cross man those middle linebackers. And then from there, like I said, I love to drop a bluff blitz from the defensive tackle. I think it's really effective. And all you're going to see here is now my, my user is free to look for any kind of middle crosser and take that away. And now we're in a max coverage setup. What this does is it kind of, again, puts together this nickel over as a very simple scheme, but is also very effective because at any time you can send six and you see how fast the pressure is able to get there. If you want to learn this entire defensive scheme top to bottom, join the Patreon today for just $10. It gets you access to everything, all of my eBooks in Madden 23 and all of the stuff that we're going to be dropping this week, preparing for Madden 24. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.